Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to read a graduated cylinder. So the first thing we need to do is find out what each increment on the graduated cylinder is worth and then we'll figure out how to read the actual water level. So we have some directions here. Follow these steps to figure out what each increment is worth. First thing we do is highlight two close milliliter values. So here's one milliliter value and then I'll go straight down and I'll look to see my next milliliter value. So the next step B is subtract the two values. So I'll do 40 milliliters minus 30 milliliters equals 10 milliliters. Step C says count how many spaces between the two values. So I'm going to start at the 30 line which is right here and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces before I get to this long line. And then the next space is 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 is that last one there. Okay? So I have 10 spaces. Step D says divide answers B by answer C to find what each space is worth and count by that. So let's do our division. We have 10 milliliters over here in B and 10 spaces for C. So we'll do 10 milliliters, write that down, divided by 10 spaces. We divide our numbers out and equals 10 divided by 10 is 1 and we keep our units. So I still have milliliters per space. So for every space, it equals one milliliter. Now I have to count, so he says count to make sure. So let's start at our lower level, go to the upper level, and let's count. So here's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Notice that long line right in between 30 and 40 is 35 milliliters. 36, 37, 38. 39, 40. So we actually count from 30 and we get to 40, which is exactly what we want. If you don't get to 40 when you get to your top level, then you have to make sure you go back and do your math again. So now we need to find our water level. Here is our water level right here. This is a plastic graduated cylinder, so there is no meniscus. So if we count, we have 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So our water level is 36 milliliters. Okay? And you might even say 36.0 milliliters because you're letting us know you think that's exactly on the line. So that's kind of an easy one. Let's go now and see what we do for something that's a little harder. So we have a picture here of a graduated cylinder. This has a meniscus because this is a glass graduated cylinder. And if you look at the meniscus, it's right here. Okay, that's the meniscus. Remember, we read at the bottom of the meniscus, so our reading level is going to be right about there. So let's go through the steps again. A, highlight two close milliliter values. And the two I have on the screen here are 11 and 13. Step B says subtract the two, so 13 milliliters minus 11 milliliters equals 2 milliliters. Count how many spaces are between, so we have to start here. This is our 11 mark right here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until we get to this spot right here in between 11 and 13. Here's another space, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 spaces, so we'll record that. 10 spaces. Going back over here, notice that this line right here is halfway between 11 and 13, so I'm going to call that 12 milliliters right there. Then if we go to step D back over here, we've got divide answer B by C, so answer B by C. We have 2 milliliters divided by 10 spaces. That equals 0 0.2 milliliters per space. 
now we have to count to make sure. So let's start counting. Remember, this is the 11 right here. 11, 11.2, 11 11.4, 11.6, 11.8, 12. Look, we do end up at 12. 12.2, 12 12.4, 12.6, 12.8, 13 milliliters. And we do end up at 13. Notice over here where we have the 11 and the 13 right above the long line. That means that is the reading for that line. And 11 is the reading for those long lines. So we counted right. We know we've got the right answer. So let's find our level. Again, it's between these two lines here. So we already know that we have 12 milliliters here. And we know this is 12.2 right there, these two lines. So I'm going to estimate that to be at 12.1 milliliters for our reading. And that's how you made a graduated cylinder. You're going to try some on your own in class. And we're going to make sure everyone knows how to read it. So thanks for listening.